sensor. And now, a little special treat. Oh, it's open. Ah, simple enough. Okay, light switch is here. All right, there she is, in all of her glory. Car lights leave on. Here's all the stuff we have in here. And here is what we came in here for. Here's the schematics, too. We might take a look at those. I'm not going to touch this box because it may be energized. I'm not sure. That goes to the machine room. You know what? We're gonna run it. And I am going to lock it after I'm done, because that is the right thing to do. I'm actually going to use a chair. <laughs> Hope it worked. Level's quick enough. Oh, 
Just coming down. And the elevator's here. Now, I'm going to leave the camera here. I'm going to flip a couple switches. that will automatically be called back down here eventually. You'll have to excuse the kids outside. Okay. All right, let's see if I can understand anything on here. Apparently there's a battery involved. Level enhanced two stop holeless. Oh shit, this thing's holeless. P. James, that's the guy that keeps, 1989? That's the guy that keeps, uh, um, uh, upgrading this, like, inspecting it. This thing is holeless. I didn't expect that. I thought maybe, but I really didn't expect that. Three position key switch. Where is there a three position? Oh, that's the fire service, probably. Okay. Let's see. I want to stop looking at the electronics. Up seats coming back down. Oh, there's some resistors. Memco detector filter. Oh, here's one that's all messed up. Oh, boy. Really don't want to touch that. Oh, here's something interesting. Okay. Here's some stuff with the relays. If you want to read it, please stop the video here. I'm actually going to snap a quick picture for myself. P. James and J. Delaporta. Drudy Stamonics. Just a typical day at U Group. Okay, open this up. Hope not to destroy any of these prints, because I really don't want to. There's hydraulic oil all over these. Cam pack door operator. Oh, here's something interesting. Oh, this is the panel, I think. Yeah, car inter cab interface mounting plate behind COP. That's all the wiring behind that one panel. It's an LRV5L enhanced holeless, two stop holeless hydro. That explains why it kind of jolts when I send it up. Electronic detector. I want to see a drawing of the shaft. I hope we have one. Oh, wait, we might have some door operator views coming up in a little bit. Here's some. Uh, more drawings. Here's something I might want to see. Top of car inspection or stop switch. Oh, this is the car top. Oh no, this is a right hand. This elevator is a... This elevator is a... Right hand opening front. Yes, it is. So that's what the top of this particular elevator looks like. I heard this elevator was installed in 1993. There's the light fixtures inside the elevator. Cable interface. So many of these. Come on, open up. Open up. I don't want to rip it. I might have to rip it. I ripped it. Hold on. Put the camera down. There we go. Duplex serial connection. It focuses on that. I want a view of the freaking car. I don't even know the last time they had to bust these things out, which I guess is a good thing. Oh my god, that one is... Oh, here we go. There's a low oil switch. Okay, now here's an interesting picture. 
I'm actually going to get up on this chair and take a full picture of this page. There we go. <coughs> Hopefully I can review that later. Oh, here's the pump. Here's the pump. Hopefully this is a view of the car. Damn it, it's not. Okay. Well, these drawings were drawn in 1989. From what I heard, this elevator was installed in 1993. So let me go put these back real quick. Once again, this is the pump. Don't know what these are for. If you listen, you'll hear that humming. I'm not sure if that's a light or if a relay's energized. Let me turn off the light. Yeah, a relay's energized. You know what? Let's uh, run it one last time. Let's see if there's anything else I missed. You're going to hear the relay for the door closer. There it goes. And that relay means the door is now closed. It's a sign for the church. Uh, another relay clicked, which means apparently the elevator is idle, or that might be the timer relay to tell it when to come back down. There are no parts in here, unfortunately. There's paint for some reason. I'm trying to figure out what this is for. I don't know what that's for, but if I wait long enough, the elevator will automatically redeem it, re re bring itself back down. Here's some more tags. Oh, it's a Leroy Somer. That's the same one as Albert Leonard. Okay, I hope I got that good. If not, I'm sure I can get back in here again, thanks to a certain someone here. Oh, here's the, uh... oh, there it goes. I don't know what that's for. It's 522. You can tell me what that's for. Let's check out one more thing. Let me see if the door opens. No, no, the door does not open. This is the last thing I'm gonna want to check out. Here's a unit record log. This goes back to 2001. Nothing on the back of here. Well, I think my work here is done. That back. Doesn't want to go back. There we go. Leroy Somer pump unit. Same people as that did Albert Leonard, only not as obnoxious. Now I am going to be very careful putting that back up because there is live voltage flying through there. Now let's turn the light off. That is the light for the car lights. We are going to lock this door because I have the key to it here somewhere. Let's see if I can guess what key it is just for fun because we are done in there and that should be locked. If I remember correctly, oh no that's a Medico key. Um, if I remember correctly it was this key. Yep. Good, it stayed locked. All right, now I gotta relock this door. Oh it is locked, okay. That's it.